We've got one more exercise in our warm up today. One more exercise. We have 15 trunk rotations. And what that looks like, if I put my feet out a little bit wider, and my hands out to my side, I'm gonna rotate to one side and come back to the middle. Rotate to the other side and come back to the middle. Awesome. We want to make sure that our core, our upper body stay nice and tight. We're not all flimsy. Keep those arms right straight into the side of you. We're going to do 15 of these turns, these rotations. In three, two, one, turn. One, two, three, four, five. Nice job, everyone. Nine, 10, we got five more, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Shake it out, shake it out. Nice job, everyone. All right, that was our warm up today. If you are tuning in after the fact too, if this is on the record, you can go through that twice. But for those that are on today, we're gonna jump right into the workout. So with that, make sure you have your space. You can see next to me or behind me, I have my chair here. So if you have your chair next to you or a table or a couch, make sure you have that near you. The other thing is make sure you have a water next to you. If you have a water bottle or you can run, if you're in your kitchen, you can run right over to your kitchen to grab some water. Uh, make sure you have something available because we've got a good workout for today. So while I'm going through exercises, I'm gonna show you a few different ways to do that exercise in case you need to do it at a level that's right for you, okay? Does that make sense? Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense. Perfect. So with that, a few different exercises we've got today. So right here on this board, our first one, if you see a diamond and mountain climbers, all oh. right? We've got clubs for skaters. We've got a heart that represents burpees. Oh, burpees. Oh God, we've I'm not, got <laughs> not good at those. A spade that represents push-ups. But before we get into our workout, I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can do these exercises by using a chair or by doing it at a maybe on the ground if you're at that ability level. Does that make sense? Give me a thumbs up. Love it. Great job, everyone. All right. So for our first exercise was the diamond. So remember, if I pull out from my cards a diamond, which let's see. We got one right here, a diamond, and I see that it is eight. That means I would do eight mountain climbers. But if I pull another kind of card, like a club, that means I would do skaters or a lunge that I'll show you. So before we get into that, I'm going to show you each exercise and what level you could do them at that works best for you. So for mountain climbers, I'm going to show you first at the highest level and then show you modifications from there. So with that, I'm going to get on the ground. If I'm ready to get on the ground for a mountain climber, my hands are right underneath my shoulders. My feet are extended out kind of in that high plank position. And then I'm going to move my feet up towards my hands. Now, you can do a stepping motion like I'm doing right now, or you can do a running motion. If you are not yet ready to be doing that on the ground, you can do it on the chair. So instead, moving the chair right in front of you so it's facing you. Again, putting my hands on that chair, make sure we have a chair or a table that's not on wheels. So I'm right on there, I'm extending my feet out. I'm gonna do a stepping motion. That's another way to do a mountain climber. 
to make it a little bit harder, I can run into it. So those are four different ways that we can do a mountain climber. In the next 30 seconds, I want you to decide which way you're going to do your mountain climber. When you have decided, give me a thumbs up if you know what you're, how you're gonna do your mountain climber. Awesome, I see a lot of thumbs up. Great job, great job. There we go. Okay, looks like we know a lot about mountain climbers and we're good to go. Okay, so they're exercising. So stand up, they're gonna tell us what you do. Let's get the audio going. <laughs> the next exercise I'm gonna show you are skaters. So we're gonna decide. So we're not gonna do mountain climbers just yet. I want you to just be come to know which way you're gonna do your mountain climber. The next one is a skater. A skater. Move the chair out a little bit. Yeah. It's actually moving side to side. So I'm gonna move this down so you can see my feet. It's kind of like you're skating on ice. So I'm going side to side. It's a little bit of a hopping motion. But you can see that I'm landing with my foot in back of me. So it's a little bit more of a lunge and a hop with it. That is a skater. If it's a little bit too hard for you, simply move side to side. Nice, big, large steps side to side. Those are skaters. Give me a thumbs up if you can do one of those levels for a skater. Great job, awesome, awesome, awesome. I see a lot of thumbs ups. All right, two more exercises to show you before we start our workout. And everyone loves these, that's why I put it next to the heart, burpees. But for burpees this time, I'm gonna show you one of the levels by using the chair first. I'm gonna move my screen down, grabbing that chair. We've done these before. You can start with your hands on that chair. Again, putting your feet out. You can come up, step up, and jump up. Come back down, step down, step back up, and jump up. Step back down, step back up, and jump up. That is one way of using the chair for a burpee. The faster you, you go with those, the harder it is. Now, when I move down onto the ground for a regular burpee, a traditional one, I'm gonna come into that high plank position, kind of that push up position. I'm gonna come back down, touch my belly to the floor, push myself up, come right to my feet and jump up. When I come back down, I'm coming nice and low, stepping back out on that floor, coming back through, getting back on my heels and my feet and jumping back up. So that is a traditional burpee on the ground. Two or three different ways we can do burpees there. Give me a thumbs up if you know which way you wanna do your burpee today. Michael, do you wanna give your thumbs up? Awesome, awesome. All right, our last exercise for our workout today is gonna to be a push up again. We have our chair. We're gonna utilize our chair today. If you need to do a push-up using the chair, walk those feet right out. Again, you don't have to come all the way down and all the way back up. However, you can go and to do that push-up position. A little bit easier when you walk your feet up and come down and back up. A Little bit harder when you walk your feet out and come down and back up. That's one way to do a push-up. Another way to do a push-up, I'm gonna move my screen down, is when you get down on the ground, do a traditional down and back up push-up, or putting my knees on the ground, using my upper body, I'm resting my knees on the ground, coming down and back up. So three or four different ways we can do our push-ups today too, either on the ground, my knees on the ground, or in a traditional push-up, or using the, uh, the chair for it too. So again, give me a thumbs up if you are knowing what you wanna do for your push-up position. 
Awesome. I love it, guys. All right. So we've got four different exercises. And for today's workout, we've got all of these wonderful cards. And you won't know which one is coming until I give it a really good shuffle and I pick the first card. I will say what the exercise is and how many times we can do it. We're going to see how many cards we can get through for today. Give me a thumbs up if you are ready to go. You have your space ready. You've got your chair if you need it, your water bottle. I love it. All right. Look at all these cards. I'm going to shuffle one more time, right? One more time. I feel like I'm at the casino. All right. Here we go. We got all these cards I'm going to pick. Let's see our first one. Oh, it's an ace, 11. This is our highest one. We got 11 reps and it's a diamond. So guess what? Mountain climbers. We're going down for mountain climbers. So if you need to use that chair, I'm going to demonstrate by using the chair. If you're on that ground, feel free to get on that ground. We're going to do 11 mountain climbers. I'm going to take my feet out. Mountain climbers, when you move your feet in for one, two, do 11 of those in three, two, 11 mountain climbers at your own. Go right ahead. One, two, four, five, six, seven. Nice job, everyone. You guys go. Great job. I love it. Nice job, Auburn students. You guys are doing awesome. All right. Our next one right here. Next card. Here we go. I'm not going to look. All right. We've got the 10 of hearts. Burpees. 10 burpees. So again, if you're using that chair, I'm going to demonstrate on the chair. If you can get on the ground and do your burpees, I know that a handful of you can do those burpees on the ground. Let's grab the way that we're going to do it. If we're using the chair, remember we're stepping out, coming back in, and jumping right up. Stepping out, coming right back in, and jumping up. We're going to do 10 of these, everyone, in three, two, one. Go for it. One. Nice job. Six. Seven. Eight. Nice job. Nine. Ten. Two. Great job, everyone. If you're finishing up, finish up those burpees. You got it. Woohoo. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Cards are out. What are we going to get? Let's see. I'm going to pick from the bottom. Oh, we're getting our 11s out of the way. We've got 11 push ups, everyone. 11 push ups. So, again, if you want to use that chair, move that chair right out. Get into that push up position, that high plank position on that chair. If you're using that ground, get right on that ground, ready for those push ups. We're going for 11 of those. Here we go, everyone. Get into that ready position. 11 push ups in three, two, one. Go for it. One, two, three. Five, seven, nice job, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Nice job, everyone. I love all of you guys using those chairs. And even for those that are on the ground, making that those up those upper body and those arms super strong. Nice job. Shake out those arms, shake them out. 
All right, here we go. We are ready. I'm going to mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Let's see what we've got going on here. Right. Oh, whoo. 10 mountain climbers, 10 mountain climbers. Here we go, everyone. We started off with these. Again, you can use the ground if you need to use the ground. I'm gonna demonstrate on that chair. 10 mountain climbers. Get into that ready position. Remember mountain climbers, when you're driving those, alternating those feet right up. We're gonna go for 11. Oh, I'm sorry, 10, 10, 10. Here we go in three, two, one. 10 mountain climbers, one, two, Take your time, take your time. This is one I love to be able to take a break, grab some water if you need it, get some water if you need it. Great job, everyone. Woohoo! All right, shake out those arms, shake out those legs. Let's see, let's see. We've got our cards right here. I'm going to choose from the bottom. Let's see what we got from the bottom. Oh boy, another 11. We've got skaters. We haven't done these yet. Make sure you move your chair right kind of out of your way so you have some room. Skaters for 11. Remember, we're going from side to side with these. So watching my feet, we're going to go from here to back to the middle. Awesome. We're going to go for 11. Here we go in three, two, one, 11 skaters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Nice job, everyone. Great job, great job. Woohoo! Getting those legs moving. All right, all right. Here we go, everyone. Let's go from this side this time. Ooh, what's this? Seven burpees. Seven burpees. So remember again, remember the chair last time. You can use the chair if you're on the ground doing your burpees. Get right on that ground. We've got seven of them this time. I'm going to demonstrate by using the chair. Remember, we're extending our feet out in that high plank position. I'm coming in and jumping up. Coming back down, putting my feet out, back in, back up. We've got seven of these in three, two, one. Seven burpees. Here we go. One, two, Oh, I love it. I love it. Great job, everyone. Woohoo! Shake out those arms. I'm outside today and I think my nose is running a lot. <laughs> it is chilly out here. All right, here we go. Let's go from kind of in the middle this time. Let's see what we get. <gasps> Seven push ups. Seven push ups. So remember, you can use that chair on that ground. Make sure we're keeping our arms really close to our body and we're tightening that core. I'm going to demonstrate on the chair for my seven push-ups. Get into that ready position. Good job. All right, everyone. We're going to start with our seven push-ups in three, two, one. Get into that ready position. Go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Stand right back up there. 
Great job, everyone. I love seeing those push-ups. Great job. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna go from this side. All right, I think I see an eight here, yep. An eight of hearts, oh, we're back to our lovely burpees. Eight burpees, I see Josh shaking his head. <laughs> Who loves burpees? Give me a thumbs up if you like burpees. <laughs> All right, eight burpees again. I can do this right on the chair or on that ground. I wanna see some high jumps this time. Get right into that ready position. We've got eight burpees. Great job. All right, hands are going on my chair. Feet are extending out. Eight burpees in three, two, one. Go for it. Nice. Go, go. Love it. Great job. Great job. Let's finish those up. Woohoo. All right. Another quick break. 30 second break. Grab some water if you need it. Grab some water if you need it. You guys are doing awesome. It's going to be hard with a folding table, that's for sure. What did you say, Brian? It's hard with a folding table, that's for sure. <laughs> I bet that's a little challenging. Be careful over there. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> All right, everyone. We are going to keep working for another five minutes. We're going to see how many more exercises we can get in five minutes. We're going to shoot for our cool down after that. Give me a thumbs up if that works for you. You guys are crushing it today. Thank you. Nice job, nice job. All right, here we go, everyone. Let's see, let's get prepared for our next exercise. I'm gonna pick from the side. Oh boy, I think this finishes off our 11. We've got an ace for 11. Does anyone remember what hearts are? Burpees. 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 All right. Burpees. <laughs> We're back to burpees. Grab that chair or grab that ground. Here we go. I hate burpees. I know. I know. It's because it's a full body movement and you're really working your upper body and your lower body. I'm going to get my chair ready. We're going for 11 burpees, everyone. Get into that ready position. I'm going to move my screen down a little bit. There we go. Here we go. 11 burpees. <laughs> Like it out, shake it out. Nice job, everyone. I love it. Great job. You're working hard today. Working hard on a Friday to enjoy your weekend, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to do three more, everyone. Three more cards to choose from. Here we go. Let's see what we've got. I'm going to pick from Lower, this please. side. This <laughs> bottom. <laughs> Diamonds. Does anyone remember what diamonds are? Not burpees, right? 
It's mountain climbers. No, well, mountain climbers. Okay, okay no, not burpees. No burpees, Josh. Great job, everybody. Eight of these eight mountain climbers. Remember, you can use that chair or that ground to get ready. Lauren, how can I position my hands on the table? <laughs> For the table, if you're using the table too, um, Brian, was that you that asked? Yeah. Yep, so make sure if you're on a table, maybe come to the side of the table so you have a little bit more room to work with. Like this? Yeah, yep, that's fine, yep. And make okay. sure that, again, you have enough space to move those feet out. Okay. okay everyone. We're going for eight mountain climbers. Get into that ready position. Feet are out. Remember, we're coming in. Alternate those feet in three, two, one. One, go for it. One, two, three, four, five, nine, six, open, seven, and eight. Great job. Those ones are really hard, too. They're similar to that burpee that you're really using all of your muscles. They're pretty much right. so I'm losing my bed. Great job, everyone. We've got two more cards, two more cards. I wish you were here with me in person so you guys could pick these cards. Here we go. Let's go from this side. Yeah, me too. Oh, boy. Let's see. Let's see. Go from this side. Josh, these guys. I know. That's the push-ups. Peters. So we are going into okay, go moving some space out have some space our skaters were going side to side okay. so if you're watching my feet i'm going from one side to the other side i can do a stepping motion if that's a little bit easier make it a little bit harder i'm really hopping Landing this one i can handle side. we're gonna go for seven i love this one in three two one skaters one Two, four, five, six, and seven. Great job. Come right back up. That looks awesome. Everyone, we've got one more. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to go or give me a shout. Here we go. We've got our last one right here. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a 10. We're almost done. We skaters, got more 10 done. skaters, everyone. We're ending with 10 more of these. So make sure you have enough room. We're going side to side. I'm going to move it. And skaters, exactly what we just did. Let's go harder. This is our last exercise for today. In three, two, one, go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome job, everyone. Great job. You guys can definitely unmute yourself if you want to do a quick hello. And we're going to do a, a cool down, a stretch as we are getting together and closing out on our Friday workout. We're going to do big arm circles, get a nice stretch into the upper body. Great job. We want to kind of cool down. We want to slow down that heart rate a little bit. Here we go. Yeah. Let's go for three, two, one. Shake it out, shake it out. Great job. All right, another one I like to be able to end with. For me, for my neck, because we did a lot of kind of standing in this position and coming back up, really start to get a nice neck roll. Roll that neck forward. Get a nice stretch in there. Great job, everyone. And right there, 
Stop no, your not. neck rolling. We're going to go in the other direction. So if you started going to the right, now let's go to our left. Let's go to the other side. Just put your head, lean your head over like that, like that. Just lean it, plug, and then down. Nice. Down, over, then over. Great job. All right, our last cool down exercise for today. We've done these before, our dives. So you're gonna come out wide and come back to the middle just as if you were diving into a pool, right? Out wide, come back to that middle. Nice job. Out wide, right back to that middle. Let's go for two more. Wide, right back down. Last one, come right up and right back down. Shake it out, shake it out. Woohoo! Woohoo! Nice job, everyone! Woohoo! Your Friday workout. We are so happy to see you all. We are back at it next week. I can't believe how fast these weeks have gone by. But I'm so happy you guys are joining us. Lucy and all of your students from Auburn, great job, everyone. We give ourselves a nice clap and a nice way to end our week. Nice job, everyone. All right, so again, we are Thank back you. at it next week, Wednesday and Friday with our workouts. Make sure you can tell your friends and your teammates um, and parents that they can tune in with us either live or recorded. So we have all of these workouts recorded for you guys. But for that, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend and we will see you next week. Bye. 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 Bye, Lauren. Bye. 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 Bye